lazy people always say, I can't afford it. I don't have the money. That's why they're poor. They have a poor mindset. I don't know what the heck the people think about money, but that's what I get a lot of, is kind of this, well, you know, money's not spiritual. I'm just saying it's your attitudes, you know, a person's attitude towards money. I make a lot of money, but I give a lot, you know what I mean? It, it goes to biblical principle, the more you give, the more you receive. So when I meet somebody who's not, doesn't have any money, it just means that they're not giving something. You know, so a lot of times there's people who would like more, but they're not giving anything. So they're like my poor dad. You know, he belonged to the labor unions and he wanted to work less and get paid more. Well, that's anti-religious to me. If you want to get paid more, work more, give more. That's how I see it. Invest in what you love. I love business. I love real estate. I mean, I really love it. I own this building here. And I love gold and silver. So I invest in what I love. Most people say, you know, and do what you love, but I'd rather invest in what I love. But I love being an entrepreneur. I love investing. It's like Shark Tank to me. I'm always looking at new businesses, new deals. It's, it's just a game like this. You know, when you look at the financial statement, that's like a scorecard. It's like a golf scorecard is your financial statement. But as you know, our schools teach us nothing about financial statements. Only lazy people use their own money. And that's because I have spent much of my life raising capital. You know, today you have crowdfunding and all that stuff. But the reason I had to learn to raise money was because I had no money. And so if you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, in there, my, my rich dad always said, never say I can't afford it. And it was my rich dad and many of my teachers subsequent to that. This had lazy people always say I can't afford it. I don't have the money. That's why they're poor. They have a poor mindset. So instead of figuring out how to raise money, it's just really easy to be a loser. And I call it losers. It pisses them off. Because we all have the power, if we wanted to, to not be poor if we learned how to raise money. So the reason I say only lazy people use their own money is because it takes much more intelligence to raise capital. And so I've never been able, ever since my rich dad, as a little boy, my rich dad forbade me from ever saying, I can't afford it. He says, figure out how you can afford it. How can you do something? Figure out how you can do something. So over my lifetime, most of the projects I, I've started, I've, I've never had any money. I, I like not having money because it forces me to think. I get creative. I have to educate myself. I have to talk to rich guys. Hey, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? How'd you do that? And what has happened to me, I mean, I just turned 72. I've never needed money because if I need money, I figure out how to raise it. So today you guys have crowdfunding and all that. I mean, I don't know what that stuff is, but it's easy to say I can't afford it. All the poor people say I can't afford it. All the poor people say, well, it's taxed or rich. All the poor people are saying, well, give me a free education, free food, free schooling, free manicures, free pedicures. There's laziness. Why did I say only lazy people use their own money? Because lazy people always say I can't afford it. You know, I can't do it. It's easy to say that. And that's why they're poor. It's harder to go raise a million dollars than to say I can't afford it. To be successful in the world of business, there's three basic types of education you must have. One, academic education. That's reading, writing, arithmetic. You know, it's very important. I'm not saying it's not important, it's extremely important. So academic is very important. Second is professional, where they become a doctor, a lawyer, secretary. In my case, I had two professions. My first profession was a sailor. I was a third mate on board uh, oil tankers, and it was a good profession. And the second profession was as, air, as a pilot, and most of my friends went on to become airline pilots. I just didn't want to fly anymore. And the third is financial education. As a young boy, I realized that I could beat my friends over here if I understood this. In other words, I can make a lot more money here than these guys here. The beauty of the world today is that you know, like if when I went to work for Standard Oil of California, I got paid by the month. And if I was a pilot flying for the airlines, I got paid by the month. And when I worked on straight commissions with Xerox, I got, you know, basically commissions. But I realized from my rich dad talking to me, that if I understood financially, I could make money 24 seven without working. That was the difference. So what, what you'll be learning about is how we make money 24 seven without working. To me, that makes a lot more sense than working hard all the time.